Hold on for just a moment, everyone. Before I continue on with the stream. There. I'm changing the voices to English, so I'm sorry for those who like uh, the original Japanese and the, uh, the Mandarin voices, but this is my audience, so. so let's get on with the game, shall we? I'm El Rizzi. And I'm playing Dynasty Warriors 9. And I'm gonna start by playing as Lidian. You can count on me to get things done. Yeah. I'm gonna play as Lidian. One of Sal Sal's officers from Dynasty Warriors 8. Who made an appearance. You can count on me. To get, to get things, things done. done. You may count on me to get things done. <laughs> oh my god. Bunch of showing of hints and whatnot. I usually hide that and get to the narration when the narrator is ready. To do so. Okay, go. Through the valiant efforts of the Imperial and Volunteer Forces, John Xiao, founder of the Way of Peace, is defeated. The Yellow Turban Rebellion is ended. But the longed for peace did not return. At the capital of Luoyang, the eunuchs faced off against the faction made up of the relatives of the Emperor. Using this as an excuse, Yuan Chao and others raid the Imperial Palace, killing the eunuchs. Under cover of this confusion, Dong Zhuo of Xilin leads his forces to the capital. He seizes control of the Emperor, appoints himself Prime Minister, and proceeds to take control and to tyrannize the country. The lords soon began to feel themselves in danger. Yep, that's how it happens here, everyone. Dong Zhuo starts his reign of tyranny. And I'm playing as one of Sal Sal's new officers. Back, While you were gone, we received a letter from Master Yuan Chao. From Yuan Shao? Let me see it. The traitor Dong Zhuo must be punished. We call upon those who wish to put an end to his tyranny to assemble in Luoyang. <laughs> this is quite the call to arms. It doesn't entirely seem like a move Yuan Shao would make, though. Cao Cao, is this what you meant when you said you'd take care of things? Indeed. Once, Once my move failed, failed, I knew, I knew Dong, Dong Zhuo's gaze, gaze would turn towards Yuan Shao, Shao due to our friendship. As, As such, Yuan, Yuan Shao, Shao would be forced, forced to make a move. I simply gave him a gentle push to ensure he didn't back out. With his family's <laughs> reputation, it is easy for him to send out the call to arms to take down Dong Zhuo. 
<laughs> it seems Yuan Shao actually did the honorable thing for a change. I had no idea you were thinking so far beyond the failed assassination attempt. You're really something, my lord. However, we cannot rest just yet. Dong Zhuo will resort to bribes and threats to drive a wedge between the coalition members. We must end this before that happens. Okay. I see how we must proceed forward. But what are you planning to do about your army? In addition to troops, you're going to need equipment and supplies. I can sell my personal effects in order to raise the funds we require. I barely stay here as it is. You're really committing to this, my lord. There's no turning back now. We are here to join the fight against Dong Zhuo. We must defeat him in order to bring an end to the chaos that plagues this land. <laughs> Indeed, it is our sworn duty to clear the path for our lord's ascension to greatness. Sao Ren, it is good to see you. I know I can count on the army you've raised, despite the tight schedule you've been given. I am humbled by your praise, my lord. We are here to serve however you see fit. Now, if you don't mind, there are some people I'd like you to meet. Ah, Master Sao Sao. It is an honor to make your acquaintance. I am Li Dian. I knew today was going to be an auspicious day. Li Dian. During his youth, he studied the martial arts and various academic subjects under his uncle Li Qian. Li Qian. When Deng Zhuo began his reign of tyranny, Cao Cao and various other warlords rose up to oppose him. Li Dian joined Cao Cao's call to arms along with his uncle. Shortly thereafter, Li Dian found himself summoned by Cao Ren. I am Yue Jin. I may not be the most skilled officer in your ranks, but I promise to give you my very best. Ah. You both. Seem to be quite I like the music, officers. I like the gameplay after all these updates. Each of you so a unit of your own to lead. You what? Uh oh, forgive me, it's just that this is all rather sudden. Indeed. I was not expecting such a development either. I could see that you both possess the talent to lead troops into battle. In my experience, men of ability have a tendency to stand out from the crowd. Of course they do, Sal Sal. That all happened so fast. I still haven't had a chance to wrap my head around. Do I really have what it takes to lead others? Although, I'm not picking up any negative premonitions about this. Eugene, we simply need to do our best to live up to our Lord's expectations. Don't you mean you, eh? Jin. That's the spirit, you two. Li Dian. Eugene, come help me whip Cao Cao's army into fighting shape. Yes, it will be my honor. Master Li Dian, you seem to place great value on your sense of intuition. How can you put so much trust in what is simply a gut feel? It's not a matter of whether I trust them or not. I can't explain it. But it just hits me. Of course, not being able to explain it annoys me more than anyone. Oh! I just got another one! Eugene, I have a feeling you and I are going to get along great. Thank you, Master Li Dian. Somehow, I get that feeling too. I think I'm ready.
I had to jump towards Dian Wei. Are you sure it's okay? I'm the one protecting you, my lord. Dian Wei, you shouldn't worry about such things. Cao Cao saw all he needed to make his decision. Just because you may have been a lowly ruffian before, doesn't mean you'll always be one. You have earned Cao Cao's trust, as well as a new start for yourself. Dian Wei, if Xiao Dun vouches for you, there is nothing for you to worry about. So, can I count on you to protect me? Of course, my lord. I'll guard you with my life. Hey, Cao Ren. Why are you always so serious? You used to be, well, quite a bit more... How should, How should I, I put, put it? it? Mischievous. That's, That's the word. The word. <laughs> Speak, Speak no more of it. it. I'm a uh, very different, different person, person now. I would, I would prefer, prefer that you, you not, not bring, bring up, up my, my past. past. Not to bring up your past, eh? Master Cao Cao boldly, boldly attempted, attempted to assassinate the corporal at Tyrant Dong Zhuo. This was an act of true courage. And this courage has drawn many warriors to him. I, myself, am one of those warriors. I intend to prove my worth to Master Cao Cao. Of course, we get a cutscene. So, you know what this is about here. Ah, so this is where you went. This should be enough. I used up everything my grandfather left me to outfit this group. This is my entire force. Assembled here. Let's go. I'm using action mode, not movie mode. In case anybody is going to be wondering on that with the graphics. So it's actually on default. We don't want to keep you on shall wait. Here comes the new character of Wei, Sal Xiu. I already did his story, by the way. My lord, I have come all this way to fight for you. But Xiu. Aren't you from the Hu district? Are you saying you rode all this way for me? That's correct. I heard that you were declaring yourself, Uncle, and I couldn't stay away. And besides, I had to join you because we are under the same sky. I see. Under the same sky, eh? I hadn't expected you. <laughs> but I am glad that you came. All right, Xiu. The 1,000 League Pawn of the Cow Family. You will be in the forefront of my battles. The 1,000 League Pawn? <laughs> okay. Sal Sal doesn't want to have uh, Yuan Shao to wait for him. He just wants to get over there. As soon as possible. And it's also because he is serious about that. I am here to serve as the vanguard for Cao Cao's glorious army. It is my duty to forge a path through those that stand in our Lord's way. I look forward to fighting by your side. We move! Okay. Well, let's move. Uh, 
But first, welcome, welcome. Gotta buy some stuff from this game here. Myself, I'm streaming. Leave me be, Captain Obvious. Do please come again. Something has to change for Lee Dian. He has to have the godly dragon weapon on him. With the demon hunter set up on him. Oh, and... This one... Since he's not completely that leveled. I had to use up all my upgrade points for Lydian. my controller vibrates throughout the stream because I just had to restart my PS4 earlier. Couldn't be helped. Just a note in mind. Let's see, I'm just going to put that on, let's see, vibration off, because I do not need that in the game itself. I'm doing great. And here's Lydian's Muso. I have to do it again to show it. I think it's safe to say this place is ours now. I just captured a base. I think this is because I am just aggroating uh, Lee Dion in this game. Anyways, let's go, Lee Dion. Safe to say this place is ours now. Oh. <laughs> Get out of here. All you imbeciles. All you imbeciles. Just get out of here. Anyways. Speaking about imbeciles, get the tiger out of the battlefield. I 
think it's safe to say this place is ours now. We have to get to Yuan Shao. Because this is... I'm going to be using the nation that lost its nature track or whatever it's called. That track was in Dynasty Warrior 7. And I actually liked it. I don't know about you guys. I'm doing great. Watching your moves has helped me hone my own skills. like this music for the passion and I'm gonna use it for when I'm not at a battlefield no mine Guan Du would be a battlefield eventually while we advance on Sal Sal or Sal Wei story my storyline in this game is a note minder. And this battle was also well this city was also used for a mission in Dong Bai storyline. As to win Dong Bai battles against uh, Zhong Hui of Jin, you know, an officer of Sima, of the Sima family, who only looks to bring pride for himself, that sort of egotistic guy. Plus, Dongbai would agree that he is egotistical. That Dongbai is egotistical, even in this game. Sorry for all Dongbai fans, but I actually like Sima Zhao as a character. I also like his wife, Wang Yuanji, or Wang Yuanji, I should say. Let's see, launch. There you go. What I've been doing just to get to towards UN Chow's camp or the coalition camp is Chow. And I leveled up just before that meeting. 
with Yuan Shao. My lord, our men are being repelled by the forces of the enemy general, Hua Xiong, at Seshui Gate. As things stand, we have no chance of passing the gate. What? It's one thing to struggle against Lu Bu, but how is it that we can't overcome Hua Xiong? Send in more men, and overwhelm him with numbers! But my lord, the front lines are low on provisions. Perhaps it would be better to send a supply unit and ensure sufficient supplies first. What? Yuan Shu was supposed to be in charge of provisions! No, oh, he'd better not be sulking just because he hasn't been made leader! Or maybe he is withholding supplies for a reason of his own. My lord, this is a separate matter, but Dong Zhuo's forces are looting a neighboring village. The villagers have requested our aid to stop them. Uh, quiet! Now is not the time for me to be worrying about some trifling matter! Then, we will provide the village with our help. Liu Bei! Huh? Who are you again? Well, whatever. Your unit doesn't seem very large, so losing you shouldn't make much difference. <laughs> of course. I will leave the village in your hands. Show the villagers the benevolence of our coalition forces. You were also with the Volunteer Corps during the campaign against the Yellow Turbans, were you not? Ah, Master Tsao I thank you for your aid the other day. I admire your concern for the people. Still, this situation won't last. Surely you have other goals, other desires. Why did you agree to join the Coalition for this battle? I doubt that it was simply to save some tiny village that finds itself in trouble. It is just as you say, Master Tsatsa. I wish to make a name for myself in this battle and gain more strength. That will enable me to help more ordinary people. I'm afraid this is a failing of mine. If I see anyone suffering, I cannot look the other way. But I must be moving on. If you will excuse me. They're the sworn brothers. Yuan Zhao considered the plight of the village to be a trifling matter. However, that Liu Bei fellow jumped at the chance to help them. On one hand, you slay Dong Zhuo and eliminate the source of the corruption. On the other, you save a village from plunder. It is hard to say which the people prefer. Hmm. I suppose so. Although one cannot afford to be caught up with what's happening right in front of them, you know how to step back and view the bigger picture. Hmm. Yes, I suppose I do. We simply need to remain on our path until we achieve our ultimate goal. In that case, we should be going, my lord. Everybody's eagerly awaiting your orders. Very well. Our target is Luo Yang. We shall slay the traitors Dong Zhuo and restore the Han Empire to its former glory. Brave warriors who have gathered under my banner, we will attack Luo Yang and slay Dong Zhuo.
Hold on before I have Hua Xiong say something. Sal, Sal. been defeated? Then I'll have to take care of this myself. I refuse to lose. We must strengthen our defenses. We will hold them off and wait for our chance to strike. Here to see how strong I am. Resist and intercept the enemy. To stop them here. I never thought I could be beaten. The coalition army was a lot tougher than I thought. I'm doing great. I guess this victory was because of me. We move. The time has come! Now it's time for Lubu! But first...
First things first. I gotta do something with the music. So let's go. Turn Dong Zhuo's army to ashes. I forgot to equip the weapon of uh, Li Dian. I'm just gonna do that just now. because of me. Oh, such oh, a splendid display. Sorry, might. might. I do not want to escort the self-defense squad. Too weak for that. I'm gonna go to my next mission and defeat Lupo at Hulao. But before Lupo, I thought I'd take care of these bow units. Also, one that's being a pain in the ass. Ah. 
You know what's gonna happen now. Blue Boo coming. I am going to be using the advance. No, peons, entertain me. And here comes, here he comes now, the mighty Lupu, the war demon of the three kingdoms. <laughs> By the way, those who are watching the stream, you can follow my Twitch. And also, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel when I'm done with the stream. Just thought you would all would know. Men. Red hair among horses. That's My YouTube channel is El In case if you guys are gonna be wondering on that one. Let's get out of here. There's no way we will survive. The link for my channel will be, of course, in the uh, description. So if you want to subscribe to my channel. But first, he has to fight the demon Nubu. Here to see how strong I am! They will never pass Hulao Gate! Attack from the walls and wipe them out! I'm doing great! Screw you, Lubu! But no mere insect such as yourself will pass through Hulao Gate. I will pass Hulao Gate even when you said that I can't. Because you're just Hulao nothing more but an insect. What's going on? And a pain in the ass. How could I be beaten by losers who could not even defeat Dong Zhuo? Next time we meet, your lives will be over. If you consider myself a peon, I don't think ah, you would understand. Has been defeated. Let's sweep on into Luoyang. Such impressive might. I must begrudgingly respect your ability. I guess this victory was because of me. Mm -hmm. All that's left is Dong Zhua. And has attained a victory over this conflict at Luoyang. Let's go, Li Dian. I will 
let you stand in the way of my dream. A land of debauchery and hedonism. Debauchery and hedonism. How did I ever recognize that from before? You idiot. Oh, ever since I played through other characters, I noticed your visions of a land of debauchery and hedonism. Prepare to lose, Don Zhua. Ryan, Lydian, your worst nightmare. The gates are tough, but the weapons can break through. Rams, forward! The front gates are being protected by fences. The Rams aren't making much progress. Reinforcements have arrived for the mountain base. Ha! There we go. I'll show what debauchery would end with Dong Zhua. I'm gonna depose some oil pumps. We will strengthen our defenses. We will hold them off and wait for our chance to strike. I haven't destroyed the gate. All right, I'll just climb through the wall. Something that Persona 5 had already had done. A lot more better than this game. For no given reason. I'm using the poison element for some reason to surprise the enemy. Come on then. Seriously, Lee Jue? You're such a dumbass. You know that? I mean, such a dumbass. You will never reach the Imperial Palace. You'll die here. No, you're gonna this die here, cool sir. It's sure to make Lord Don Juo very angry. And I can see Song Xian over here. 
some reason. Who's an officer, Don Joa? Take this! The key to this battle will be the use of siege weaponry. Then, we must begin by protecting the battery rams. Take this! For those who seek a line of debauchery, you are a douchebag. And I don't know why I'm ex using exploding arrows for some reason. Your game. I'm using a exploding arrows when I could have used them on Dong Zhua. This guy saying, I'm doing great. Uh, how can I let this happen? Now the enemy will pour into the palace. Oh, the weapon attacks have ended. Now we can advance on the Imperial Palace. This is what I was planning to do from the beginning. Here we go, here we go. Pawn you, pawn you, come on, come on. Oh, such a splendid display of might. Reporting! The Rams have broken through the outer gates at Luo Young. Great, let's go! I'm gonna break this gate. And I level up. Once more. And Zhang Ba is right here. I'm doing great. Ah! Waiting for me to show up, I guess. Your deeds will go down in passion. Let's see, I am gonna use that exploding arrow. See if anything is gonna open up. Nope, nothing. There. So that means I'm wasting exploding arrows. this point I refuse to lose
Okay, let's advance. All forces need to advance. Zhuo's army, get out. Oh, oh such a splendid display of might. You shall hold you on. Now. All right. I need everyone to defend this area. You're not going to defend it very well. All you have to do is possibly give up the area that you're trying to defend. I'm gonna attack. I'm gonna attack from way, imbeciles. And yes, I pre-ordered Dynasty Warriors 9 Empires. But it's for the Switch. That I pre-ordered it for. Oh, such a splendid display of might. The original game has some good values. When it comes to playing with your favorite music from any of the Musou games. For example. Graphics are good, but open field, open world is just crap. 
in the original Dynasty Warriors 9. I bet Koei is doing something about that in Empires, though. He's done something about that in that area's Empires. Too good for the enemy. It'll be put to much better use by us. Now my horse is lagging. Streaming on Twitch on Tuesdays. And since today's a Tuesday after all, I just thought I'd do it. Looking forward to December already. You know why? I'm about to be an uncle for the first time and all that. It's gonna be amazing. Plus I'm graduating for the last time from college. I just love this music. I love the music from this game. There's no need to hate this uh, game when it comes to the music alone. See, lock-in is from Warriors of the G4 as well in this game. When it comes to locking in on enemies. Speaking about enemies. The tyrannical despot, Dong Zhua is here. Before I take care of Dong Zhua, If we take this one. Oh, such a. You can have. Retreat. Retreat. Jump up. 
We have slain the traitor Dong Zhuo and reclaimed control over Luo Yang. This is a famous victory. Sound try up, men. And the burning of Luoyang, a uh, ransacking of Luoyang, would have this event with fire going on. It's just like Samurai Warriors 5 in a nutshell, with a catchy castle in Mitsuhide's route. Anyways, I'm gonna shut up after the loading screen is done loading. What happens next? Five, four, three, two, one. Hello, boo. Will you break our oath? Is this how you repay me? Is this how you repay Dong Zhuo? Betray him? And killing him? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. This is where you must die. You damn minx! You planned this, didn't you? Good resting place for that swine. <laughs> From now on, now on I walk if I choose to walk. By the way, I've been practicing my Lu Bu. In case you haven't watched it on YouTube just yet, it is actually on my channel. Go to www. YouTube.com slash C slash Elreezy and you will see it right in the in there right in there Anyways the next conversation is gonna come up And here it is now. Can no one find the Imperial Seal yet? Now that no one knows where the Emperor is, it is imperative that as a loyal retainer of the Han Court, I secure that treasure. Find it at once! <laughs> find it at once! <laughs> Uh, you and Shao. Him and his funny dialogue there. <laughs> How dare he prattle on, as if he has ever achieved anything in his life. With Dong Zhuo dead, and the Emperor gone, there is no point in staying here in Luoyang. The tyrant's death has thrown the land into even deeper chaos. This is the perfect opportunity for me to seize Jin Province and Jiangdong. You just watch. It will not be you who laughs last, child, but I, inheritor of the true spirit of the noble Yuan clan. They say the Imperial Seal's gone missing. Hey, do you think if I found it, that'd make me the Emperor? What are you talking about? I'm going home before someone instigates another mad uprising. I don't know what they were talking about. Dong Zhuo perpetuated the chaos in the land following the Yellow Turban's rebellion. However, he was not its cause. He merely used it to his advantage. 
The Han has influence, but no real power anymore. In order to quell this chaos, someone must rise up with new ideals and spread them across the land. However, most of those with power are not content to stop there and seek to satisfy their greediest desires instead. Yep. They will only serve to deepen the chaos. Therefore, Master Cao Cao, preparations to move our forces are in place. Where will our destination be? We will go to Shuchang. I require even greater strength if I am to realize my goals. The plan to assassinate Dong Zhuo was thwarted by Master Lu Bu. The Coalition Army, for which we use Yu and Xiao, also failed to defeat Dong Zhuo. In the end, it was Master Lu Bu who slew Dong Zhuo, in confusion over the relocation of the capital to Shan'an. Cao Cao seems to be doing all the legwork, and Lord Lu Bu ends up taking all the glory. This is a truly pitiful state of affairs. I am starting to have my doubts whether he can really get anything done. In this age of chaos, we need a man who can rise above all others. And I need someone who can help me realize my own grand ambitions. Okay. So that means he's gonna leave Sal Sal. But this stream is not yet over. In case anyone is gonna be wondering. Led by the noble Yuan Shao. The anti-Dong Zhuo coalition succeeded in defeating Dong Zhuo's forces. They soon disperse, with each lord returning to his own lands. Dong Zhuo, who had fled to Shan'an, is soon killed by the betrayal of Lu Bu. As the yep. chaos of the land peaks, each of the lords we saw begins this to in take the his move. Previous battles the first and to show their hands are you and Shao and you and Shu. The forces of the two become embroiled in a vicious battle with each other. The other lords soon take sides as the land is split into the two factions. However, though they had chosen sides in this battle, they still had their own desires and agendas. Each soon began to make plans to fulfill those desires. That includes Sal Sal, Liu Bei, and the Soon family. Among them. But the Soon family would serve under Yuan Shu. Sal Sal served under his childhood friend Yuan Shao. Liu Bei, I think. Lord Cao Cao, your father, Lord Cao Song, has been slain on his way to Shu Chong. It was the work of men serving the governor of Shu province, Tao Qiang. <gasps> what? What? My father. I see. Thank you for your report. What the? My lord. This is messed up! Shunu, what do you make of this development? I... well... I suspect this atrocity was an arbitrary decision of Tao Qian's men. Shu province is still reeling from the damage caused by the yellow turbans and Dong Zhuo. Tao Qian has no ambition to rule, and probably prefers to avoid war. Currently, Yuan Shu and Yuan Shao are at odds with each other. Tao Qian serves Yuan Shu and probably does not want to provoke you given your friendship with Yuan Shao. I thought that might be the case. However, 
This is not the time to be controlled by anger. If only I could use this to help quell the chaos somehow. I can't believe Master Salsong is gone. How dare you target my lord's father like that? You're gonna pay for this, Tao Chion! Sao Sao sure is rather calm given what just happened. How can you show no emotion like that after losing a parent? I'm kind of worried about him. He possesses the strength to see beyond personal emotion. That's what he needs to display to this land in its current state. He is simply following his ideals. Although, it's true that our Lord loved and respected his father very much. When the time comes to face Tao Chian, we'll be sure to avenge Master Cao Zong's death. Yes, you're right. We must do our best to emulate our Lord's strength on the battlefield. Anyways, time to change the music. I just love the calm music like this. You know that? I think I'm ready. What's on your mind, Master Li Dian? You normally do not look so glum. Some sort of misfortune will soon be upon us. What is there to be worried about? We are constantly welcoming new members to our ranks, and Master Cao Cao's army is growing by leaps and bounds. I don't know. I can't put my finger on it. If possible, I'd like for us to remain in Shu Chung. It's not because I'm hoping to make things easier on us. I just have this strange feeling. That's all I can say with any certainty. I've got some great stuff here. I love this track, by the way, from this game. This track is so awesome. I appreciate your business. I've got some great stuff here. I appreciate your business.
to recruit some rather intelligent officers to our cause lately. I only mention it because I am their complete opposite. I truly envy people like that. They know everything that is going to happen in a battle. No, Master Cao Chou. Strategists are not infallible, no matter how wise they may appear. Each person has things that they are good or not so good at. For example, Master Shun Yo is a master of strategy. He is one of the wisest in the land when it comes to matters of battle preparations and handling provisions. On the other hand, when it comes down to actual battlefield tactics, nobody can be I didn't change Guojia's uh has their own field of expertise. I didn't change Guojia's costume. So in case if you're wondering about what he's wearing, it's the hypothetical ending uh tacticians. It's the hypothetical uh ending. I costume that I got Thank you for your kind explanation for playing through both branches of the storyline whenever I'm on the battlefield my name is man Shaw. I have come here in order to join Master Cao Cao's cause. It is an honor to make your acquaintance. You are too kind. I have heard that you are quite adept with defensive tactics, Master Mancho, and that you are also skilled with traps and siege weapons. I too am well versed in the art of defensive battles. I would love to discuss tactics with you sometime. Oh, oh, I am I honored am to simply meet, meet somebody who can comprehend my tactics, Master Tsaren. The, the key is to focus on a constant push, push and pull with, with the enemy. enemy. Push, push forward, forward while appearing while strong, strong, and pulling the enemy towards, towards you while appearing weak. This <gasps> goes for more than just defensive battles, of course. Hmm. It seems you could talk about this subject without any, Master Manjo. Hmm. I don't know why I'm playing this one. There we go. I just needed to keep it. Keep this. There we go. Let's see. All I'm lacking is one song from this game. But I am inviting Goja. To come by. Oh, and by the way, this song was from a hypothetical route for Joe Yu. Can I ask you something? I can, I can only, only trust, trust you with this. this. Oh, you're, oh, you're turning, turning me down? Me down? That's, That's a shame, shame but it, it can't, can't be helped. Be helped.
Do you have a moment? It's some deep passion of a song. I don't know why I just put air. And I'm gonna let Lee Dion sleep until it's morning in the game. If they have plans on Dynasty Warriors 10, I hope Koi can just give the original voices their characters back. Because although it has some merit to the new ones, but I want the or original voices back. As in the very group that knows how to do is voice act for games, but I also want to see new voice actors to get a chance. You know, those who are truly professional, that know how to do a job well done in voicing characters. I'm not talking crap here, but about this game, but the voices are truly a little and no merit, but the music, man, the music has its feels, even when you go into nostalgia, like with this song here, for example.
That was an impressive effort. I enjoy just watching you out there. to say this place is ours, ours now. now. Effort. I enjoy just watching you out there. I think it's safe to say this place is ours now. I think it's safe to say this place is ours now. Take care of him, blow job.
Now it's not the time, Legolas. I enjoy just watching you out there. Mm -hmm. 
safe to say this place is ours now. Say this place is ours now. I think it's safe to say this place is ours now. This place is ours now. I think it's safe to say this place is ours now.
take the attack to the enemy. Forward! So you are the tacticians brought to me by Shun Yu and Guo Jia. My name is Man Chong. My specialty lies in designing traps for castles and general defensive preparations. I am honored to make your acquaintance. My name is Shun Yu. I am an expert in battlefield tactics. I see. My army currently has nobody like either of you within its ranks. <laughs> either of Manchong and... You have many mighty warriors such as Master Dion Wei beneath you. And... However, in order to eventually quell the chaos, you need skilled tacticians that can guide those warriors. Master Guo Jia, Master Manchong, Master Shun Yo and myself, each of us has our own field of expertise. Together, we can help guide you on your path forward. Excellent. I look forward to seeing just how far your talent can take me. My army is still rather small, but it has many talented warriors and strategists. I think our capability is sufficient for the task at hand. Our first move is to slay Tao Qian Tao and obtain his lands within Shu province. I would like to hear your opinion on the situation. My lord, please forgive my impudence, but do you wish to attack Tao Qian in the name of vengeance? If that is what the world thinks, then so be it. However, the point in attacking Tao Qian is to get at the man behind him, Yuan Shu. Master Cao Cao is old friends with Master Yuan Shao. Similarly, Tao Qian is close to Yuan Shu, who is also at odds with Yuan Shao. I see where this is going. I know that we cannot make our move while our army lacks in size. However, if we do not seize this chance to take Shu province now, my journey becomes that much harder. Your journey? I seek to bring an end to the chaos and instill a new sense of order in the land. In order to do so, I must overcome the chaos through sheer military might. A new sense of order. So, attacking Shu province is the first step in making that a reality. I understand what you mean now. Of course he must deal with the coward Tao Qian. You can make your move and cause him to think you wish to talk. At the same time, you place an army behind him. That actually makes things quite simple. We attack where their defenses are the weakest. <laughs> Tao Qian won't know what hit him. I see. With that supposition in mind, let us speak of tactics. Shun Yo, what are your thoughts on the matter? First, I think we need to dispatch an army to put down the resistance within Qing province. You mean... The former members of the Yellow Turbans that are terrorizing the area. How does that relate to our attack on Shu province? If you make a move, Tao Qian will think it is for revenge. If he truly is the coward Master Manchong suggests he is, he will hope to parlay with you. 
Once he approaches the front lines, that is your chance to slay him. Even if you fail, it will slow him down, enabling an auxiliary unit to strike his flank. Interesting. I like it. We shall proceed with your proposal. Many lives are likely to be lost on this path. However, it is a pain we must endure to end the chaos. Everybody, I ask that you join me in search of the greater good. Let's go. We shall slay Tao Qian and bring Shu province under our control. Yeah, to our control. I had to agree with you, Sao Sao. Cao Cao's gaze is turned outward. He does not appear to notice what is happening within his own ranks. Then now is my chance! The name Cheng Gong will soon be known across the land! We will slay Tao Qian and seize control of Shu province. I will need your talents to make it a reality though. I think it's 
safe to say this place is ours now. If you want to follow a really great audio production sometime this holiday, I suggest you to follow Dice Tower Theater. After all, I did voice for two seasons, and I had a lot of fun voicing in those two seasons. Safe to say this place is ours now. I refuse There's a Twitch channel for the podcast itself. If you want to follow them. The people of Shu Province. You can tell that it'll be if you're watching the stream, please follow uh, to the lives of the Dice Tower Theater on Twitch and tell the creator that I, Elric Gotheson, a voice actor for Dice Tower Theater, has sent you. Their Twitch channel will be under the description of the video. And I'm hoping that you will enjoy this video. This isn't good. Victory was because of After me. this battle, this battle is over. I am going to be you sure know how to getting fight. my snack and prepare for the mall because tomorrow is uh, the premiere of Georgia's Bizarre Adventure: Stone Ocean, which will be on Netflix, and I am ecstatic to see what's going to happen this season. You get a new protagonist in this very season. Yes, we get new character. We get some new characters. Along with a new protagonist. To make things a little bit more impressive, by the way. These yellow turban rebels are quite skilled. If we can defeat them and get them to join us, it could greatly strengthen our army. Although we don't have the time to do it properly, I mean, seriously, let's just try to recruit as many as we can. If you want to watch an anime sometime this winter, I suggest a JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Stone Ocean. Got 
something I'd like to get my hands on. Come on, hand it over. You're pretty good. Well, I'll give you that much. Your weapons and skills are all amazing. I'm sorry for my rudeness. I never expected that I would meet someone who is so strong. I'm going to follow you. I guess this victory was because of me. Impressive effort. I enjoy just watching you out there. So, you're the one that stole the vegetables? A robber? What? You don't look like Tao Chung's forces. But do we have to fight? <laughs> Defeat the big crazy man. These after all? I'm sorry for the misunderstanding. My name's Juju. Let me know if you ever need any help. It's the least I can do. Let's go capture one of those unsightly positions. Follow me! I guess this victory was because of me. Supplies from Master Shuju! An apology for attacking us! Oh, thank you! Now we can fight at least a little longer! Victory was because of me. Watching your moves has helped me hone my own skills. Our target has been determined. 
Capturing that area will deflate their morale. Our target has been determined. Capturing that area will deflate their morale. We have captured this area. Has been determined. Capturing that area will deflate their morale. We're advancing. Everyone, follow my lead. We got moving. I think securing that area will prove beneficial to our cause. Now, take defensive position. We all know our target. It is only a matter of attacking it! Watching your moves has... 
has helped me hone my own skills. a bit of trouble, but we've managed to mostly pare down Tao Qian's forces. The enemy moved just as Master Man Chong and Master Shun Yeo anticipated. It sure helps to have quality strategists on your side. Yes. Our forces have become more powerful than I imagined possible. It is only a matter of time before Shu Province falls to our onslaught. My lord! What? It's... it's Lu Bu! Yan province is under attack by Lu Bu's forces! Curse that Lu Bu. He could not have picked a worse time to invade. In response to Lu Bu's attack, castles throughout Yan province are defecting to his side. Upon hearing the news, Lord Shaho Dun and Lord Shun Wu have already set up for Yan Province. D -d Defecting? You mean the castle lords have turned their back on Master Cao Cao? So, Lu Bu was the source of my premonition. I wonder if my uncle is okay. I never expected Lu Bu to invade Yan Province at a time like this. Although, he is usually one to rely on brute force, not such refined strategy. They defected due to Lu Bu's presence? I could understand them surrendering, but to immediately switch sides like that, there's something strange going on here. Hmm. It appears somebody has moved against us. Shu province was just within our grasp. Now, now we have, we have no, no choice, choice but, to but to deal with, with this, this situation, situation first. first. Everybody, Everybody, we must we quickly must return, return to Shu Chang. I, I want Lu Bu driven, driven from Yan province, province immediately. immediately. And this is where the stream will end. And also will this video. Just, wow. I am Elric, or you can call me El Reezy, and I am signing off. Subscribe to my channel, and I'll catch you on the flip side. See you until then. As in, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye.